Hey guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I wanna to show you how to create the perfect gimbal rig for filmmaking. So over here I have a Sakani monitor, Komika wireless microphone, HDMI cable, and I have the Mosua Air remote controller because I am using the Mosua Air gimbal with the dual-handed system. So this remote controller allows me to access parameters immediately without going into the application on your phone. So it's always good to have this remote attached to the gimbal. I also have some screws here on the table and I'll explain to you which screw goes to what accessory. All right, let's get started. And before we continue on with this video, I just wanna remind you that this setup video is not only good for the Mosua Air gimbal. It's good for many other different kinds of gimbals, especially ones that allow you to attach a dual-handed system. All right, so I'm gonna start off with attaching the Mosua Air accessory mount, and I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this on to the handlebar system. After I've attached the accessory mount, I'm gonna attach the other arm here. After I've done that, I'm gonna use the supplied thumb screw to attach the Mosua Air remote controller. Next, I'm gonna attach the microphone receiver. 99% of the time, I will be using a lavalier microphone set when I'm using a gimbal. So it's just more convenient, and I know for a fact I'm getting the cleanest audio possible since the microphone is attached right onto the talent. Now to attach the microphone, I'm gonna be using the accessory port that's already built onto the gimbal itself. And on top of that, I'm gonna be using this accessory mount here it actually has two ball heads and it allows me to change the position of the microphone receiver just so it's more comfortable using the gimbal. I'll leave the link for all of these accessories in the description box below, so make sure you check that out as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that right on. Next, I'm gonna attach the receiver. All right, once we've done that, we can just position the microphone receiver so it's out of the gimbal's way then tighten up the locking screw all right after that we are going to attach the audio cable going from the receiver into the camera so with audio gear try to always use short cables it's just less of a pain to deal with and i'll show you the pain that i have to face when i'm using my hdmi cable all right next i want to attach my monitor so I'm gonna be using the Sakani five inch monitor. It's a touch screen, so it's really beneficial and easy to use. So I'm gonna be attaching the monitor to the actual handle of this dual handed system. That way it's high enough to see, and for the most part, it stays out of the gimbal's way. So in order to do that, I have a ball head here, little mini ball head. And what I also have is a male to male quarter 20 inch screw adapter. So I'm gonna put one end into the ball head and I'm gonna mount or screw on the other end into the handle. Next, all I have to do is just screw on the monitor. Now we've reached the trickiest part of the setup and that is attaching the HDMI cable. Look how long it is. So learn from my mistake and get a shorter HDMI cable but I'll teach you how to use a longer HDMI cable with this setup as well. So that way, if you have one, we can still work with it. So let's attach it to the camera first. And this part is very important. Watch how I wrap it around the camera, going over the lens, under the roll arm. And remember this, you wanna keep a little bit of extra slack because the gimbal will be moving around like this while you're shooting. So keep a little bit of extra slack. Then we're gonna go under the dual-handed system, under the crossbar here, and wrap it just a few times over this crossbar. All right. And you can constantly rotate the gimbal just to make sure that you have enough slack and nothing is tugging on the camera. All right. Once we've wrapped it around a few times, we can start feeding it to the monitor. So let's check it out before we turn on the gimbal, make sure nothing is interfering with its movement. Now, as you can see here, it is not the prettiest setup, but it will get the job done. I strongly recommend that you get a shorter HDMI cable and an HDMI cable that has a specific 90 degree adapter at the connection point. 
That way you're not gonna have this weird, you know, weird cable sticking out and it can interfere with the monitor and the gimbal's movements. But as long as you wrap it around the camera and around the gimbal properly, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. After we've attached all of these cables, you might wanna rebalance your gimbal because a lot of things might have changed the balance. So you can make minor adjustments. If you wanna learn how to balance an electronic gimbal, go ahead and check out this video right here. Next, let's turn on the gimbal. Fantastic. Let's pick it up and test it out. All right, let's go into follow mode and let's see how it does. Very smooth. Nothing is colliding. The gimbal is buttery, buttery smooth. No cables are being tugged. So I'm pretty happy with this. So that's how I set up my gimbal for filmmaking. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Also check out the description box for the links where you can get these accessories and screws. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a big like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel with notifications on. I can't wait to see what you guys create. I'll talk to you soon, bye bye.